What is going on, Jobless Gamer family? This is Garrett, better known as Jobless Gamer Robin. Today I'm doing a really quick tutorial on how to connect to multiplayer servers and host your own multiplayer server all in one video. So if you guys are new to the Jobless Gamer family, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like this video and comment down below if you have any questions. Let's begin this tutorial. So guys, the first thing you wanna do is go into Cube World. You wanna select your character and go to connect to server. Now you're wondering, okay, well, I don't have a server address. Where the hell am I connecting to? Well, that's easy. Open up your browser, your favorite browser, whatever you want, and go to cubeworld.serverlister.com. Now you can type into Google anything you want about Cubeworld, like Cubeworld multiplayer servers, and you'll have lists of other people that are hosting servers. But right now, this is a good website to go to in order to find out what servers are up. So you can just look at whatever server you want to join and just type it into your cube world exactly where it says server address pretty easy right now that's how you connect to a multiplayer server hosted by someone else most of these servers only allow a max of four people so if there's more than four people it's not gonna let you join and if it does let you join you'll notice that nothing's loading like you'll be in the game but you can't loot stuff you won't see any monsters you won't see anyone else on the server and that's how you know that that server is full so just leave that server and connect to another one now maybe multiplayer servers that are public aren't for you maybe you want to join a server that you run and own yourself that uh, maybe your friends can join only you and your friends play where you have enough space for you your friends and that's it well that's easy all you need to do is port forward now i know you're already like oh no i hate port forwarding blah 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 and i know a lot of people get that that re response when someone says port forwarding because they don't know how to do it but for cube world it is very easy and most port forwarding is very easy to do you just need to figure out what your ip is and what you need to um, type into your web browser in order to connect to your modem slash router so before i show you how to exactly port forward i want to show you something in the cube world folder so you want to go to your program files and you want to go to computer go to your computer and for you guys you're going to have to go to your local disk program files cube world most likely that's what you're gonna have to do but for me it's different because i have a hard drive just for my games so let's go over there so you're gonna find your cube world folder you're gonna go inside of it and you're gonna look for server.exe you're gonna run that bad boy in doing so you have just set up your server but now you're wondering well what about the port forwarding stuff so let's jump into how to port forward what you're gonna need to do is figure out what your modem slash router ip is in order to access it everyone's is different most likely it's going to be this or it's going to be some variation of that and you can easily look on google what yours will be so when you figure out where it is you're going to look for the port forwarding section mine is under nat slash qos in doing so and going over there you see that i have port forwarding very easy the application you can make the name whatever you want mine's i just put cubro so i know what the hell it is the protocol is going to be both the port from and port to are very important, and this is the only way you know what uh, that your server is going to work. Cube World right now only allows the ports of one, two, three, four, five to make it easy for everybody. The port is one, two, three, four, five. You can't make it anything else; it will not work. This is alpha, so just make it port from and port to one, two, three, four, five, and enable that bad boy, and that's it. This IP address is the IP address that I got from my config, my command and I just got the, the IP that was there. Now, when I want to show people what the IP is that they need to connect to, they need to connect to your home IP. In order to find that very easy way, you just go to um, ipchicken.com. Now, that's funny because that's what it is. Just go to ipchicken.com and you figure out IP. After making this video, I'm probably gonna have to change my IP because I know a lot of you trolls are gonna try to get on my server and mess things up and I like the way it is. So I'm gonna be changing my IP after this server so you won't be able to connect to my server per se, but you can connect to your server and your friends can join you to play. So guys, this has been a very easy way on how to join uh, public servers as well as your own private servers and setting it up and joining them. This has been Jobless Gamer Robin. If you guys enjoyed this video, Please be sure to leave it a like, comment down below if you have any questions, and I hope to see you guys commenting in the next video, which comes out later today or tomorrow, and it's all about Cube World, baby. I'll see you guys then. Later, guys.